Plug love, what you mean, plug love? Plug love, what you mean, plug love? Hello, welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And we got Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua's rematch. They trying to have it over there in the UK. And they saying that Andy Ruiz is using Dylan White's dirty drop to keep it over here in the United States. And I believe that he should because all the odds are stacked up against him to lose overseas. And the number one thing they they thinking is like Anthony Joshua ain't comfortable fighting in the States. So that's why they won't have the fight over there. But also, the number one thing that I'm worried about is how dirty and how poorly they're handling situations right now. So if they can straighten that shit up, then maybe... You know, people would G for that. But right now, we standing behind Andy Ruiz because how many of your other fighters are dirty? Because both times people done got caught, they talking about your number one star. And they always keep pointing to him. I ain't gonna say no names because you know exactly who I'm talking about. And this motherfucker is built like no other heavyweight we done seen before. And I mean, it's just real fishy right now. It's real fishy. And you know that this guy has the styles match up perfectly for him to win again so who's to say that you wouldn't super juice up a super do anything super uh pay pay somebody pay the judges so yeah andy ruiz should definitely fight in the united states in vegas or they can do it in brooklyn again wherever you want to do it at but my whole thing is this too they got somebody sitting down for two whole years they got him again for uh they got him again for boxing no for sparring they suspended him extra time for sparring but my whole thing is where's all this treatment to the other fighters and it show seems like it's a whole favoritism thing going on over there where it is to if y'all sign without Heyman and them everything is fair i kind of feel sorry for Shakur Shakur Stevenson because, I mean, he should have stayed with Mayweather, but, you know, some people... I, look, I do business. Eric Molina was the boxer's name, but I do business. And, you know, you can't you can't do nothing but try to help people. That's all you can do is try to help people. And you can try to tell them the right way and hope that they follow and listen, don't brag about how you, hey, I, 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 I taught them, I taught them, I, I, I did that, I did that. Don't, don't do all that, because that's wrong on your side. But the number one thing is that you can't help everybody. And in this case, is one of them cases where you got to learn the hard way. Because I see, like, maybe it was too late, or maybe, you know, he had the kind of vibe like, nigga, you trying to hold me back. You trying to hold me back for my money. This is my big money. And he went and he signed a big deal with the zone. So I kind of feel sorry for him. I kind of feel sorry for Clarissa Shields because I don't know if she signed with them, but I know she be talking on the phone. She might be over there with the zone, but they 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 ship ain't motherfucking going full speed. A motherfucker like it's almost it's in an anchor in the middle of the ocean, and it could be submerging a little bit. I'm just saying. Everything that sound good ain't good. And then this is the whole thing. I want to feel sorry for Canelo, but, man, he's already eating meat that he don't know about. And somehow some shit's in there that get you stronger. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, where are they making that meat at? Because that's what people need to eat at. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just bullshit. You don't have penis problems. I just say that. <laughs> penis problems. Or dry problems, your shit gonna be just dry. Like, I don't know what's going on. I've been eating these motherfucking tacos. <laughs> My shit just dry or my shit just limp. <laughs> but that's gonna be the show for today. So make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app. Make sure you check out the sponsors page and keep an eye on Eddie. Keep your eye on Eddie. I knew he. I knew something was fishy about him when he came in looking like the motherfucking actor on Team America. Durka, Durka, Allah. And, I just <laughs> and also, this one was just in. I believe Eddie Hearn done messed up the church's money. Because this interview right here looks like he's super guilty. To where this nigga done started going crazy on... 
on barbershop conversation. But my number one thing is, and where I say he fucked up at, is because he he's calling out the WBC and he's calling out Vada style testing. Which, if the fight, because Andy Ruiz said he's not going over there. Fuck that. So that's a good thing that I'm glad he's sticking to that. But, man, that Vada testing shit, they are random. And that's hard for you to get on some steroids on that. And I hate for Anthony Joshua to come to that ring looking a little different. A different, a smaller frame than all his other fights. You know what I mean? But I'm just glad Andy Ruiz is smart. And him and his team is like, we ain't fucking going over there. Because nigga, it's not, if it was 50-50, yeah. But nigga, it's seeming like it's 98-2 over that motherfucker. <laughs> 98% chance you lose, 2% chance you win. And that's if you can catch him again. But just had to put that out there on the table. Well, about.